Hi, today we're going to talk about Microsoft's Hyper-V and we're going to talk about some differences uh, between it and some of the other more popular um, virtualization software programs that are available today. So with the increasing popularity of virtualization, there's a lot of options out there naturally. Um, namely one, which is of course uh, VMware, um, that's been uh, widely used and it's arguably the most popular one by far out there. Um, however, Microsoft's Hyper-V is pretty, uh, pretty close contender uh, to that. So a lot of people are, you know, on the fence, like, what should I do? You know, VMware is so popular, has so many features that are available. So why would I do Microsoft Hyper-V? So just going to explain a couple of the differences that make Hyper-V, you know, more competitive and why people would choose it in their specific scenario. Um, and I'll also explain a couple of the disadvantages, perhaps, uh, with using Microsoft Hyper-V. So some of the big things, pretty much all of it is based around the fact that Microsoft's Hyper-V is, well, it's designed by Microsoft. So being Microsoft designed, um, you're going to have everything supported. You're going to have increased compatibility with other Microsoft products. Um, there's going to be a very limited learning curve with most IT professionals that are already comfortable using Microsoft products. And so the design is very consistent. So pretty much an IT professional already knows kind of how to navigate their way around Hyper-V, even if they don't have much virtualization experience. So that's a big win for most businesses. Another advantage uh, with Microsoft Hyper-V is that it's integrated already within versions of Microsoft Windows, like it's already included in Windows Server. And if it's not included, like versions Windows 7, 8, and 10, um, either way it's downloaded as a free download. Also another advantage is, is that its security is integrated with Microsoft uh, Windows Active Directory. And um, the performance of Microsoft Hyper-V tends to be very high um, thanks to the fact that it is installed as a tier one uh, bare metal uh, installation. It also has a very low attack surface as far as from a security standpoint. Some of the disadvantages is that um, Microsoft Hyper-V requires um, an operating system to be installed first. It also could be a single point of failure. If the operating system crashes, all virtual machines will crash. This tends to result in more uh, maintenance due to uh, the requirement of uh, Microsoft Windows updates. That's something that you sign up for when you use Microsoft Hyper-V. Another disadvantage would be the limited operating system support. Other virtualization products such as VMware um, support a very wide range of uh, operating systems and um, Hyper-V only supports you know, some versions of Windows and uh, some versions of Linux. So hopefully this makes it more clear that Microsoft Hyper-V is a very viable virtualization uh, software contender. Um, it's very popular and uh, it's very well uh, integrated within existing environments that already run Microsoft products and uh, IT professionals that already know Microsoft. Okay, so thanks for watching.